Welcome to my workshop. This is my sanctuary. Uh, it's a place where I can actually come in, do almost literally nothing, but it looks like I've done quite a bit of work. Um, it's in a garage that was built in the 60s uh, when cars were a lot smaller. The, um, the actual dimensions is 2.4 by 4.2 meters, uh, which when you see some of the single car garages in America, um, I think the only similarity is the length, those gouges over there seem to be a lot wider. So come along, see what gear I have, how I've got it all set up and maybe some way how not to do a workshop. It is a bit messy but again I don't have much room. And so now we're walking. So first up is me Axminster Banzo. It is the AW1950B. Um, it's a slight upgrade to the one I previously had, which was just a desktop one. Actually, I'm just kidding, it's a massive upgrade. Um, the one I had was a Titan, which is a screw fix special. Um, but this one has been absolutely spot on. I've got larger blades in here. Um, I've got a dial down, it's easy to use. I come comes with a fence. It didn't come with a mic um slider thingy. Um but I had to buy it from Axminster so it fits the right machine and but with that it just makes it all complete. The workbench is from Arbor Garden Solutions. It's a solid bench. Um it first came with an MDF top which was slightly warped from the very beginning. But as soon as I could, maybe after I think it was after a year, I replaced it with like solid wood. Um, it's like it's just pine. Uh, I had it originally all, um, I think, put Danish oil on for the finish. But it's obviously had a, quite a bit of abuse. There's three panels at the front, and they all can come off. So if I need to do any uh, maintenance to the bench, such as adjusting the the vice. Um, I can easily do that. The backboard here that came with it, but again, I've done some of my own little adjustments by it was just like shelves going along, but I've just made my own little partitions and shelves and put front faces on them, which makes it quite easier to use and more organised. Um, I've also made this like, pencil and pen holder, which just slides in and out. Just on a hinge. Um, I keep a lot of things here. It is normally this messy, or even worse. But I've got a new um, and a scope shape here. Both of them I need to get sharp, sharpened up. Um, and I've also put an addition of T track there, and also T track on here on the side. Moving down, um, just want to give a quick mention to this, the Wobby Design camera jig. Um, I'll put a link to the video where I first found it. It's quite good, there's a lot of people use these days. You can move it around so you can get the camera in different positions. I've got my Evolution miter saw. Uh, again, I think I got this from Screwfix. Um, it's quite a good mitre saw. The only issue, as with all the mitre saws you get apart from the top range professional ones, is the dust collection is pretty crap. Um, I've tried to make something up here to reduce where the dust collection goes. It doesn't quite always work. And I do have it connected up instead of just to the um, my shop back, I've actually got it connected up to my full dust collector. Just behind it here, I've got some little bins with some hinges, brackets, dowels, um, little blocks which I use when I'm doing my wood carving, or attempt to do my wood carving. You can see just behind here as well, I've got scrap sheet metal, sheet metal, scrap sheet wood, with also scrap wood as well, and there's also a good bit of lime wood there for uh, doing another carving. Um, has a storage box here with extra dust 
uh, extraction hoses in it. You can see there at the back there's a homemade um, Lazy Susan um, using casters. Uh, I've used that for when I've done my Shoshugi ban burning. I just find it's easier to turn the wood right way around in there um, to get all sides done at the same time. Next to the um, that bench I've got my brand new lumberjack drill press I will put a, a link to the actual one below it won't be an affiliate link it's just because they've been so fantastic with us um, I ordered it at Maker Central and then that was on the Saturday and on the Tuesday it was delivered and down here if you can see it is the old one but next to the drill press I have my Axminster um, dust collector or dust extractor and then my Vacmaster shop vacuum which is a really good shop vac just going back under the main workbench again uh, a cheap bench grinder and I've got some extra paint and my tool bag for when I do odd jobs down at the football club in the drawers on this side there's things like um, see there there's epoxy resin there's a bit of money put which I got free from make a central for being a member of the how to app I've got gloves boots and underneath there will be scales and sharpening stones and on this side I've got some furniture carbon chisels I've got the beast chisel I've got my roll set of chisels in here my brand new marking knife which is if you've never seen one of these marking knives or how they're packaged this is how they come. Well, oh, I must put that on my sticker wall. So well, there you've got your, your blades. Got a little tool to put them on with. And then underneath, as you can see there, it's a purple heart um, with a copper ferrule then under this bench where the mitre saw is um, in this box I have my circular saw which I think was my very first power tool I've ever bought um, belt sander I've got a hand drill which I use a bit um, I've also got a jigsaw and also a really thin um, belt sander in there as well and then next to that is my air compressor and I've got a pocket hole jig there over here I've got my XL router table um, you don't need to buy a big brand router table um, this one is perfectly good it's got the motor built in um, I've put onto me one little cart as I see I've got loads of cards in here in a small shop you need to have carts on wheels basically to have all your machines on um, behind there I've got my sheet material yeah a lot of things to do on here I have got trend um, router bits so you can have a table like this use good bits and it does the job the only issue I've ever had with it is the fence but to me I don't think you can get a decent um, router fence. I even tried making my own with a um, sacrificial bit of wood at the front. Didn't quite work. So I'm back using the plastic fence that came with it. See, but behind here I have um, my air compressor nail gun and there's also a little duster in there as well as with the nails. Okay, and that's next to my Axminster uh, thicknesser VAW31B. 318 BT and on top of here you can see I've got a box with 
um, well, basically stuff extraction adapters and also homemade um, blast gates in there. I've also got an attempt at a carving on oak. Found that's really difficult to do, oak. So one day I might get it finished. And I've also got this jig here that I use if I'm doing any um, cabinetry and I'm painting it the bits first and just rack them up to dry. And I've seen that first on Carl Port Woodcraft. So then under the rattle table, there's a whole lot of different jigs I've made. Some I use quite a bit, some very rarely. Under the thicknesser is um, my bin of scrap wood. And I've also got this if I need to um, have my dust extraction cable at a height, especially when I'm using the, the thicknesser. So that basically it doesn't get in the way of the wood that's going through it. Um, a little mobile cart for doing extra bit of work on. Here there's a couple of carving jigs. Um, this is just some pallet wood which is for my next project. So if you want to find out what I'm going to make with that you'll have to stay tuned for uh, the following week. And then underneath here I've got little um, containers with screws and bolts in. Okay, so here, um, at this side, I've got, you've probably seen a few shots already, there's my French cleat wall. I've got various bits of tools up there. Um, power motor, which I rarely use now, um, after injuring myself last year. Um, I've got my saws, uh, I've got um, plug cutters, cheap chisels hammers and mallets and then I've got some really good chisels down there which is rider ones for Mark's Minster uh, and then I've got my little cabinet here which I've just literally put the this front bit of plywood on on last night to have it as a sticker wall. The cabinet design is actually taken from Stuart who's proper DIY really great guy um, his channel's fantastic if you haven't seen it I'll put a link in the description somewhere, if I remember. But inside here, in the front, I've got some drill bits and some router bits. And then if I close that, and just on the latch, in the back, I've got on this side, um, I've got those sandpaper and I've got some sandpaper on the top of the cabinet as well um, as well as a World Core Special Spirit Level and on the side there I've got my um, Japanese Shogun flush saw which I love using this when I'm doing 40 frames and if I'm using a spline and just trimming that spline off. Okay here um, you've got Two of my very first cabinets I made. This is the very first one out of pallet wood, and it's just basically for decorating and things. Then over there, I've got my power tools, and then there's also paint trays and other bits of stuff over there. Down here, I've got a volunteer cabinet, which I've got the top drawers, only one actually organised in there, um, otherwise, you've got iron keys, and bits of pieces like sticks over there. Then I've got my top drawer with shadow form, nicely organised. Second drawer, shadow form, spanner missing, don't know how to put it. Then the next few drawers are messy. Now I always thought I would love to have them in shadow form as well. However, what would go in it, what wouldn't go in. So I see I've got extra screwdriver there, I've got a ruler, um, other bits and pieces. In here I've got extra spanners, ones I've just used some of the vapour rust on and clean them up and they come really, really nice. Other screwdrivers, pliers, you know, all sorts. And then, yeah, these are just like um, fine filing, which I should use on the carbon. I haven't done it for a while. Oh man. Squares man, they're called squares. Moving on. Um, clamps. And then the final piece of equipment, my Evolution table saw. Um, which obviously becomes a 
don't go wrong for things. Let's put that back over there. Um, you can see here I've got some recording jigs. There was my last uh, video, which was the carving of the lighthouse. Now about the table saw. It's a good table saw. It, it's one way you can get it from um, screw fix up B and Q. And the only complaint I have with it, and it's the same complaint as what Leo from Hand Eye Craft uh, has about the Rage Five when he did a review on it quite quite a while ago, is is this the screw that goes on the side where the fence is so that when you're sawing a bit of wood um, and it's not a thin bit of wood that will get in the way that's the end of the tour um, I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you've seen something that you might think oh that's a good idea um, like maybe it's just a good idea not to have your workshop as a mess like mine is um, but it's a mess and I know where things are it's a sort of the organised mess um, so if you have enjoyed it do please click on the like button um, if there's anything you think I should do differently or change in the workshop please let me know in the comments because it's one of those things that I do with all the help I can get and if you're not already subscribed to the channel why not be brave enough click on the subscribe button you really will help my channel grow um, and thanks for watching